Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about exponential functions. Let's get started. Primarily, we should know that we can call them non-algebraic functions because of their such a situation where the variable is existing not in the base, rather in the exponent. We shall see the clear difference between an algebraic function which has an exponent and an exponential function that is not algebraic. But before that, we should see the origin of this term. Basically, it's again a Latin origin that defines this word and that word is exponere and in English it means expound. In simple words, it means to explain something in detail. So when we explain something in detail, it becomes something larger and bigger in volume. This is why we call them exponential functions. How it becomes larger, we shall see. Um, another important point in this regard is that the independent variable will occur as a root or as a par. Looking at the standard form of it, we can see that f is a function of x and there is a which is a coefficient in this case and then there is another constant which is having par which is x. So you see the par in this case is in the exponent and not in the base. Another important point here is that we assume that a is a positive value that is the coefficient and small a which is having the power of uh, x is also a positive value. When we plot them on a graph they appear as non-linear graphs. Now we are assuming that x is equal to 0. When, you, when we assume this, we can put this value in place of x. And as we did that in that standard form, the answer is a. And we remember that a is a constant value. So you see, an exponential function can reduce to a constant function if x is equal to 0. This is what we have experimented. Another important point, rather a caveat, is that in the case of algebraic functions where the variable is occurring in the base and not in the power, we call them power functions. And this is exponential function contrary to the power functions where the variable is occurring in the power of the function and not in the base. So this is the difference. Uh, and this is the power function and it is not occurring the the variable is not occurring in the exponent rather it is occurring in the base so this is how we must be careful with the power functions and exponential functions that is their difference we are dealing with exponential functions here now there are two possibilities two major possibilities of exponential functions either they can show uh, exponential growth or they can show exponential decay firstly we are considering the case of exponential growth and that is possible when a is greater than 1 uh, we can see the diagram in order to better understand it now you can see on the right hand side we are trying to understand how this growth happens and how it actually becomes intense. You can see here that as there are greater values of x, this rate of climbing is increasing. That is the rate of increase in the increase is increasing. And uh, you can expect that there is an asymptote. Now looking at some numerical examples, we have uh, simultaneously plotted three exponential functions here. One with the value of a as 2 is having the least of the increasing trend whereas the one with this having power x and having the value of a as 4 is having the quickest slope. So you see the intensity of this exponential growth can change as the value of a changes. Now we come to the other case that was exponential decay. 
and we can anticipate that the value of small a shall be lesser than 1 and more specifically just a fraction between 0 and 1. And now this diagram will guide us primarily understanding the usual pattern. As you can see in this region the decay is very much and it is declining and when it declines to this point here it becomes a moderate sort of decay and afterwards it becomes a very slow decay. So you see decay the, its pattern declines as we move from left to right. Four of these exponential decay graphs will explain the difference as we change the value of a. a is the least here and a is the highest here. When it is the highest the curve is not having the quickest decay rather it is having the slowest decay and when the value of a is the smallest it is having the quickest of the decay. So this is how exponential functions can change when the value of a changes.